last minute comics. Much like my other video, I have this lovely wall of comics, <laughs> which has all my old books. But the problem is, it's just a little bit too small. So I gotta get rid of some of these books and put them in my short box so that I can have room for some new books. <laughs> but yeah, instead of just throwing them in my short box and never looking at them again, I'm gonna give you a short little review of each one just cause I'm so busy with the other series and focusing on that one, I never get a chance to talk about these cool comics. So the rules are simple. I have one minute, which is actually 30 seconds, to give a review and summary of each of these comics before the buzzer buzzes me out. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I really suck at summarizing things which will make this all the more fun. So let's get started. All right, and the first book I got for you is going to be The Unstoppable Wasp number two. And this one is about Nadia and Jarvis, and they're going out to collect girl geniuses for Nadia's think tank. And she goes out to meet this girl, Tiana, who is a robotic genius. And she reminds her that you can't have a girl genius think tank without Moon Girl. And I guess she's the smartest person in the world now that Reed Richards is off being God. I thought this was going to focus more on Hank Pym, but yeah, I guess it really doesn't look a giant rat and I gotta go by. Anyway, the next book I got for you is going to be Champions number five, or as Marvel seems to want to call it, Gwempians, because Gwempo tries to join the team. But anyway, the champions are dealing with a series of hate crimes that are going across their city. And it seems like the police are kind of targeting them specifically because, you know, Kamala's Muslim, Viv is a robot, and... Hulk is Korean. But anyway, everyone seems to be okay with Scott Summers being a mutant. Nobody comments on that. But yeah, Gwenpool just kind of goes and wrecks shit up and nothing really gets resolved. Everything's kind of a circular motion, but it's kind of preachy. So just like the other ones, I gotta go by. All right, and the next book I got for you is gonna be Miss Marvel number 14. And in this one, we see Kamala taking a break from being a hero so she could play her favorite game, World of Battlecraft. And everything is going well until one of her guild members essentially says that he knows where she lives and makes a threat against her. And she's so creeped out, she immediately logs off to go track down the owner of this account, who tells her that his screen blacked out and he didn't play for the rest of the game. And she goes and she realizes that she's actually being stalked by her new villain, Doc X. Gotta go all right, and the next book I got is all new X-Men number 17. And actually, this one's a bit of a freebie because I'm doing the Inhumans vs. X-Men storyline in more in-depth later on, so I'll be covering this one fully. But in this one, we get a little side story about Bobby and his new boyfriend, Romeo, and they're happy and dating until the other X-Men confront him and tell him that he essentially can't be dating an Inhuman because tensions are so high, and they capture Romeo, to which Bobby essentially says that he doesn't really affiliate with the X-Men that much, and they break free, and they decide to be happy together, and I Bye. Up next is the Mighty Captain Marvel number one, which is part two in the Mighty Captain Marvel series, where Carol is still feeling like shit regarding the events of Civil War 2, but nobody else seems to care because they're making a freaking TV show about her, because like she's the greatest superhero ever, which she's not, she's really not. Anyway, Carol really isn't okay with this show, she's just going along with it because the profits go towards Alpha Flight, who are currently in the process of saving a Kree girl, because Carol got super triggered since she herself is half Kree. But, yeah, uh, I really like the artwork. I think I'm gonna drop this comic after this, though, because I thought it would get better, but it really didn't. I gotta go back. All right, and last I got Civil War 2, The Oath. And in this one, we see the aftermath of the war, and we find out that Tony isn't actually dead. He's just in a coma. And Steve becomes the new director of S.H.I.E.L.D., and he goes to talk to Tony while he's in his coma state, and he tells him, essentially, that he plans to overthrow the government and that all the heroes have failed because now he plans to implement his new Hydra regime. And in the end, we get this lovely little scene with Inhumans in internment camps, or mutants, or whatever. But anyway, yeah, this is the beginning of Secret Empire, and I gotta go by. Okay. Whew, it's getting hot in here. All right, Shaggy. Sorry about that, buddy boy. Anyway. So, yeah, that was the end of that. I cleared my wall again so I could get some new comics up, and I still think I look like a total fucking mess, but you guys seem to like the last one, so there you go. But anyway, that's all I got for you for now, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Did you just cry? I'm sorry. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that circle button right there. Or you can check out some more of my videos along here. I also have a Patreon set up that you can find by clicking that square button right there. See you later.